Welcome back. In this module, especially the first part, we're going to discuss competitive advantage and of course how information systems can play a part in helping businesses achieve competitive advantage. In order to succeed over its competitors, a company or organization must be better than them at something. That's called their competitive advantage. So what is competitive advantage? It's the edge that a company has over its competition. It's how that company works better than all the others in the industry. And some, some of the areas that a, a company can focus on competitive advantage strategies are, are cost leadership, and that can be both the low cost or the high cost leader. Uh, product differentiation, having a better product or different product than the competitors. Innovation, coming up with better and faster products. Uh, operational effectiveness, you know, doing whatever they do quicker than anybody else. For instance, uh, Walmart is very, very good about getting products all over the country. And then they can be very, very customer oriented, customer focused, and uh, that can demand higher prices, and that can be their competitive advantage. Well as you have surely heard many new businesses in fact most new businesses fail but old businesses can fail too even if they've been around for a long time. One reason for that is that all businesses face incredible pressures and challenges. Your textbook does a great job explaining some of these challenges but we're going to go over a few of them briefly now. Well, here's some of the pressures listed. The first is globalization. And because of globalization, no longer does a business have to worry about competitors just down the street. They may be facing, facing competition from all over the world. Well, then they could also face pressures from powerful customers. If a business, for instance, has all their eggs in a few or one basket, uh, they've placed themselves in a position where they could be bullied by their powerful customers. Those customers might demand lower prices or threaten to take their business elsewhere. Economic conditions can change. House builders, home builders, for instance, uh, were doing very, very well before the Great Recession of 2008. Changes in economic conditions can both help and hurt a business. Technology uh, that you're studying in this class is moving incredibly rapidly. Uh, it's changing almost everything about the way we do business. For example, brick and mortar stores are almost becoming obsolete. Companies that don't keep up with technology may soon find their products or services irrelevant um, and, and that a competitor that might be using better technology is able to produce those same services or products cheaper and better. And then there's also government regulations to worry about. And whether you're starting a restaurant, a daycare, uh, want to set up a mine, or even tutoring kids in math, there's always going to be government regulations that are going to affect your prof profitability and control what you are able and not able to do. The pressures and challenges that business face have been uh, analyzed many different ways. And uh, Michael Porter came up with one way to analyze them. He came up with a model called the Five Forces Model. And uh, the purpose of this is just to uh, be able to analyze the different challenges that businesses face. And we're going to go over these in the next couple of slides. The five forces that Porter identified differ a little bit from the, uh, the pressures that we discussed earlier, but uh, it's a great way to analyze the pressures and threats that a business faces. And so the first thing and so for the first threat that Porter has us analyze within a business is our threats to potential new entries. Is it hard to get into the industry that we're in as a business or is it easy? Are we likely to have more competitors showing up or do we just have a few competitors and not likely to get more? So that's one of the things you'll analyze when you're using the Porter's Five Forces model. Porter also has a business look at the bargaining power of the suppliers. Do you have just a few suppliers that could demand higher prices or are there lots of suppliers where you could get the products that you need for your goods and services? Like the pressures we discussed previously, Porter also has us examine the bargaining powers of our customers. Once again, do we have just a few very large customers that uh, could say, hey, you know, if you don't sell to me at a lower price, I'm going to find a different place to buy these? Or do we have lots of customers and uh, those customers you know, don't have much power over us? Another factor that we analyze when we're looking at the Porter's Five Forces model. Another very important threat that Porter has us analyze is the threat of substitute products or services. Uh, do they have to use our specific product or service or could they switch to something else that's similar? And that's another factor that we analyze when we're looking at this Porter Five Forces model. Porter also has us examine the rivalry among other firms in our industry. Uh, do we get along? Are we able to uh, collude on prices? Although that is probably illegal. But, uh, you know, do we have very, very strong competition? So that's another factor that we look at with Porter's Five Forces model. 
For this class, our focus is primarily how information systems can help organizations get or maintain competitive advantage. And some of the ways that uh, information systems can help is they can help with the uh, creation of a new product or service, enhancing an existing product or service, uh, helping an organization differentiate the product or service, lock in customers, making it hard for them to go anywhere else, lock in suppliers, or raise barriers to market entry. And as we progress in this class, that's what you're going to be wanting to examine. Uh, obviously, there is a project coming up in which you have to review uh, how an information system helps a business process. And since this class is all about business and how information systems help in business, that's going to be the focus as we continue on through the rest of these chapters.